green flag. All the way from the back to the front. The 25C already up to third. Our point leader is Brandon Williams in the number five. Started on the pole position. He was slated to start second row inside. The 40F didn't show up, so the five moves up. And he's your current leader with Stephen Ashcraft. Oh, problems for Williams. Dives down to the infield. Nobody hurt. New leader as they come off turn number two down the back straightaway. Your point leader, the 25C of Tommy Davis, Jr., Steven Ashcraft in second. Kane Buckmeyer in the 69X in third. Four spot, the 20D, that's Rowdy Day. And the 88T, that's Tony Rule, rounding out the top five. Six times around the Devil's Bowl Speedway. Heat race number one, Buckmeyer Motorsports USRA Limited Mods. Tommy Davis Jr. now commanding lead as he goes into turn number one. Uses that center to high groove. Steven Ashcraft right there with him. Kane Buckmeyer now feeling a little pressure from the 20D of Rowdy Day as they go into turn number three. White flag in the air one time, one more time around for the 25C of Tommy Davis Jr. Off turn number four, your winner, Tommy Davis Jr. in the 25C. Second place, 56 is Stephen Ashcraft, third the 69X, a Kane Buckmeyer in fourth, the 20D of Rowdy Day. That's the way they finish up heat race number one. Looking for the side-by-side -side start coming off turn number four. Green flag. Seth McMacken leads them. A little bit of smoke coming from the 15 of Josh Graham. The 84 Tom Lorenz up to third. Graham now for the lead, coming off turn number two. Side by side, he's got it down the back straightaway. Smoke coming from that number 15. He's out in front. Seth McMacken down in second. Tom Lorenz in that 84. Challenging for the second spot now. Underneath the 41 of McMacken as they go down the back straightaway. Tom Lorenz up to second. Now sets his sights on the leader, the 15 at Josh Graham. Two laps to go. Two laps to go. He raced number two. White flag in the air for Josh Graham in that number 15. Might have something leaking on that number 15. Last week we had a car smoking, but it was smoking all the way around the track. This time off turn number four, your winner, Josh Graham, in the number 15. Second spot going to the 84, a Tom Lorenz third, the 41, a Seth McMacken. And four spot, the 7-Eleven of Michael Daniels. Green flag.
Heflin also has a little bit of smoke coming from his car in the 84. He drifts up high right in front of Kenneth Reed. Here he comes. He's running second in the points here at Devil's Bowl Speedway. Chase Raymond in that number one. Raymond now sets his sights on the leader. He's right there. Pepper Kirkendall right on his back bumper as they go into turn one. Three wide for a second is Jeff McGibney up to third. Kenneth Reed in fourth. And the 84X, Anthony Heflin rounds out the top five. But up front for the lead as they go into turn number one. Kirkendall out in front. Chase Raymond now down to the inside, pulls alongside down the back straightaway. He's got the preferred line going into three. Keeps it pinned down to the bottom side of the racetrack. New leader coming off turn number four. Chase Raymond in the number one. Chase Raymond running second in points here at Devil's Bowl Speedway in the 2020 season. Already with a couple of feature wins and now leading the heat race tonight here at Devil's Bowl. Pepper Kirkendall in second spot. Jeff McGivney still hanging on to third. Four wide for that fourth spot for a second. Kenneth Reed still hanging on to it. But the 15 of Thomas Blackwell and the 4R of Kevin Rowland. Rowland trying to get two for one right here. He might have it. Blackwell down on the inside. Nothing doing. Kirkendall with some problems. White flag in the air. White flag in the air. Also problems for McGivney in the number 19. He pulls it to the infield. But Chase Raymond has checked out on this one. All he's got is a couple of more turns and a half of a straightaway. And he'll be the winner here in heat race number three. Off turn number four, checkered flag, your winner, the number one of Chase Raymond. Second spot, going to Pepper Kirkendall in the 33. Third, the 4R of Kevin Rowland, and fourth, the 15 of Thomas Blackwell. That's so the way they finish up. Heat race number three for your Buckmeyer Motorsports Limited Modifieds. Green flag, three wide. Kevin Hazlitt up to third. Started on the third row outside, started in the sixth position, already up to third from the drop of the green flag. gone all the way to the back and now we got a couple of them around let's see if they keep them going the 1w walter hamilton he's part in between one and two caution on the speedway caution on the speedway flag. Jerry Cowart hangs on to that lead in that number 22, white number 22. Eddie Smith in the number two, that yellow and white number two. As the K-13 Oh, problem for Coward. He goes around. Eddie Smith takes over the lead. Coward keeps it going. We stay green. Eddie Smith out in front. The 13K of Shane King runs in second. Kevin Haslip right there in third in the number 74. Fourth, the 84 of Tom Lorenz. And rounding out the top five, he had problems a little bit earlier, the 1W, Walter Hamilton. Two laps to go, two laps to go. Here in heat race number one for the USRA factory stocks. Down to the inside for the lead. King, Shane King in that 13K. 
can't wrestle the lead away from the number two car of Eddie Smith. White flag in the air. One more time around Devil's Bowl Speedway. King right there on the back bumper of Smith. Smith continues to hang on to the lead. As Shane King in that K-13. Tries to chase him down, nothing doing, but he opens the door for Kevin Haslip. But it's all over, your winner. Eddie Smith in that number two, second spot going to Shane King in the 13K. Kevin Haslip in the number 74 finishes in third and fourth went to Tom Lorenz in the number 84. And the one W, Walter Hamilton, rounds out the top five here in heat race number one for the factory stocks. Leader Tommy Davis Jr. in that number 17, he leads the points in the USRA factory stocks and the Buckmeyer Motorsports USRA limited modified screen flag out. We got teammates in this one, the 6M and the 71 of Tommy McKinley and Jeff Jones. As they're two by two down the back straightaway. Dustin Thomas out in front, but he's got a couple of cars hot on his tail. In fact, he's got four cars hot on his tail. And to the outside, Tommy McKinley. Wrestling the lead away off turn number two. As Tommy Davis Jr. and the eight car of Rick Murray split the 17 down the back straightaway. Tommy McKinley, he's won the championship three years in a row out here at Devil's Bowl Speedway in the USRA factory stocks, trying to make it four years in a row. But in second place, the driver leading the points, the number 17 of Tommy Davis Jr. pulls right up onto the back bumper of the 71M as they go down the back straightaway into turn number three. Rick Murray right there in the number eight on the bottom side of the racetrack. Trying to get that second spot away from Tommy Davis Jr. Once again, another challenge to, on the outside for the lead. Tommy Davis Jr. Tommy McKinley. McKinley to the inside net number 71. He's got the preferred line. A white flag is out one more time around Devil's Bowl Speedway for Tommy McKinley. Rick Murray goes around, keeps it going. We stay green. He does the 360. He falls to fifth. Checker flag in the air. Your winner, the 71M of Tommy McKinley. Second spot goes to Tommy Davis Jr. in the number 17. Third, the 6M of Jeff Jones. And fourth, the U81 of Brendan Marshall. And rounding out the top five is the eight car of Rick Murray. That's why they finish up heat race number two for your factory stocks. Looking for the green flag. Here we go. Oh, problems over here in turn number one. Looks like the 58X of Brian Gunwall. Casey Fowler in that number 64. To his outside, the 87M of Robert McCutcheon. Here we go. Watch out. Looks like McCutcheon and the 64 of Casey Fowler getting together. And the 64 of Fowler off the track. So that puts the 316 of Junior Styles. I don't think we're going on this one. So we're going to line them back up. Oh, 
We have not gotten a lap in. Eight laps to go, much better. Green flag. Junior Styles lifting that left front into the air, into that 316. You can get a good shot of it coming off turn number four. With Robert McCutcheon right there in second spot. And Danny Florence in that 51X runs in third. Johnny Philpot now, he had those problems earlier. Now he's up to third. Once again, problems for the 58X. Over there in turn number two. As Junior Styles and the 316 continues to lead. Johnny Philpot, Junior in that number 12. Now starting to close in on Junior Styles here in heat race number one for your white horse tuning and dyno USRA modifies. Once again, the 58X taking the long way around, way at the top side of this racetrack. Brian Gunwall out of Powderly, Texas. He's got his hands full with that 58X. As well as Junior Styles has his hands full with a 12 at Johnny Philpott Jr. Caution on the speedway, caution on the speedway for the 87M of Robert McCutcheon. McCutcheon pulls off the racetrack. Green flag. Problems for the 51X of Danny Florence. He pulls it off the track. Junior Styles looking for the checker flag this time. He's got it. Johnny Philpot Jr. finishes in second. Third, the 27M of Jody Main and fourth going to the 58X of Brian Gunwall. Green flag. Three wide coming off turn number two. Clyde Dunn Jr. up to third. Frank Rose in the lead. Greg Teske in the 82X in second. Clyde Dunn Jr. runs in third. The 12 of Jason Ingles in fourth. Uh-oh. The one car. The 1J of Peyton Johansson and the 15 car of Kyle Cave getting together. Looks like some debris down on the racetrack, plus we got the 15 parked. Frank Rose out in front. Clyde Dunn Jr. now up to second. Greg Teske in that 82 car runs in third. Side by side for the fourth spot with the 12 car of Jason Ingles and the 711 of Michael Daniels. Frank Rose 
pushes over here in turn number three and four. The 88 car now closes in for the lead as they go into number one. Frank Rose feeling the heat from the 88 car of Clyde Dunn Jr. Side by side for the lead coming off turn number four. Clyde Dunn Jr., your new leader as they come off turn number four down the front straightaway. Clyde Dunn Jr. continues to lead. He's opened up about a half a straightaway advantage over Frank Rose in second, the number 45. Greg Teske in that 82X continues to run in third. And the 7-11 of Michael Daniels now in fourth. Jason Ingles in that 12J. Winner out here at Devil's Bowl Speedway about three weeks ago. Having some issues tonight behind that 12J. White flag in the air for Clyde Dunn Jr. the 88 uh, of Clyde Dunn Jr. Frank Rose going to finish in second spot in that number 45. Michael Daniels finishes in third in the 7 and fourth goes to Jason Ingles in the 12J. Looking for the green flag as they come off turn number four. Everything looking good so far. Keep it there. Green flag. Holt out in front. Keith Nestrick in second. Russell Shoulders running in third. Martin Edwards in fourth. Austin Mundy in fifth. Problems for Kaluka in the 15. He straightens it up coming off turn number two. Matthew Holt continues to lead. You can see the Devil's Bowl Speedway starting to dry through the center over here in turn number one. Matthew Holt continues to lead with Heath Nestrick running in second, Russell Shoulders third, Martin Edwards fourth, Austin Mundy in the number four rounding out the top five. Sixth spot, the 26th car, Jacob Harris. Matthew Holt really not walking away with it here in heat race number one. Definitely getting dry, that little dry spot. You see it over here between one and two. Two laps to go, two laps to go. The leader right behind Brian Shoulders in that 11S. As he dives hard into turn number three, clears the lap car of Brian Shoulders. White flag in the air. Shoulders goes to the outside. Russell Shoulders now down to the inside. There's the lap car of Brian as they go down the back straightaway. Checker flag, your winner, Matthew Holt in the 16P. Heath Nestrick in the 4X finishes in second. Russell Shoulders in that 21S winds up third. Martin Edwards in the 45 winds up fourth. And Austin Mundy rounds out the top five in that number four machine. That's the way they finish up heat race number one for your IMCA Race Saver Sprints. Everything looking good, looks great. Green flag. Oh, watch out.
two cars upside down. Now see one of the drivers coming out, all right, and the next, the second driver moving around. Looks like everybody's okay up there in turn number two. Here we go, looking good. Side by side down the front straightaway. Blake Mallory in that 6M out in front. Tucker Dowdy in the 2X in second. The 41M of Steve McMacken runs in third and Dalton Stevens in that 99X runs fourth. John Ricketts in that 99B rounds out the top five here in heat race number two. Dalton Stevens now up to third, McMacken back to fourth as Blake Mallory continues to lead. Tucker Dowdy gets a little closer every lap, but also the 99X of Dalton Stevens getting a little closer to the 2X every lap. Blake Mallory in that 6M. Two laps to go, two laps to go for Blake Mallory in the 6M. Tucker Dowdy continues to hang on to that second spot in the 2X. Dalton Stevens in the 99X continues to run in third with the 41 car, Steve McMacken in fourth with a white flag in the air, white flag in the air one time, one more time around Devil's Bowl Speedway for the 6M of Blake Mallory. Through three, now coming off turn number four, checker flag in the air, your winner, Blake Mallory in the 6M. Second spot going to Tucker Dowdy in the 2X, third Dalton Stevens in the 99X. And fourth, Steve McMacken in the 41M and John Ricketts in the 99B rounds out your top five in heat race number two for your IMCA Race Saver Sprints. Looking for the side-by-side -side start, Joseph Casper in that number 24. And Briley Stone in the 33S. Green flag. Joseph Casper out in front. Briley Stone hanging on to that second spot. But Logan Payne in that 2L challenging for that spot as they come down the front straightaway. All the way from the third row outside up to fourth is the 10G. That's Marcus Thomas. And Logan Payne up to second. Oh, that got closed down the front straightaway. Logan Payne now runs in second. Briley Stone goes to third. Marcus Thomas in fourth. Put Thomas in third. Oh, problems for the 33S of Briley Stone. Off the track, caution on the speedway. Orange cone. Remember, you got to go to the outside of the cone. Can't pass till you get past the orange cone. Green flag out. Logan Payne tries to put the slide job on. Nothing doing. Opens the door for the 10G of Marcus Thomas. He's up to second. Joseph Casper continues to run in the lead.
Marcus Thomas looking to be outside now, dives down to the bottom, trying to get the lead away from the 24. Joseph Casper, he's got it as he going to turn number one. Thomas to the point. Casper now second. Logan Payne running in third. Kobe Stubblefield, our defending track champion, runs in fourth. White flag in the air. Checkered flag. Your winner, the 10G of Marcus Thomas. Second spot going to the 24, Joseph Casper. Logan Payne in the 2L finishes in third with Kobe Stubblefield in the number two, fourth. And rounding out the top five, the V8 of Robert Vetter. That's the way they finish up. Your third and final heat race for your IMCA sprint cars. Green flag. Side-by-side -side racing, down the back straightaway. We stay clean and green, Problems for the 84X. That's Steven Ashcraft in that number 56 out in front with Josh Graham in the number 15. Looks like he's got his uh, smoking problem fixed. Pepper Kirkendall around in the number 33. Let's see if he can keep it, get it fired up. We stay green for the moment. Another problem over here off turn number three and four. So we've got a couple of cars. Caution on the speedway. The 84X of Anthony Heflin and the 33 of Pepper Kirkendall. Green flag. Thomas Blackwell through the center. Problems once again over here in turn number one with the 84X. Back to racing. Problems for the 7-Eleven of Michael Daniels. All the way at the back of the field. Now he's going to pull it to the infield. Problems over here in turn number three. Looks like the 165 this time around. Also the 84X. flag. Blackwell to the outside. Makes it look easy. As I'm not sure if that's Richard McGibney or Jeff McGibney in that number 19. I think it's Richard McGibney off the pace. Trying to get off the track. He does. As Blackwell just powered on the outside. Out in front. Oh, watch out. Little action going on over here in turn two. As Thomas Blackwell leads him. Coming off turn number four down the front straightaway. Steven Ashcraft running in second. Josh Graham in the number 15 runs in third. There's the 25. See your point leader up to third. He gets by the 15 to Josh Graham down the back straightaway. Also the 20D of Rowdy Day. He's up to fourth. The race for third spot. Thomas Black will now in front by about six car lengths over Steven Ashcraft in second, but right there in third. Problems for Tom Lorenz in the 84. He's off the track, gets sideways. I'm sure we're fixing to go yellow, yellow, yellow. Oh, this is going to get interesting up front. 
So problems for the 84 off the track. All right, here we go. Green flag. Told you it was going to get interesting up front. Thomas Blackwell leads him in the 15 car. Right there in second, Tommy Davis Jr. Drifts high, opens the door for the 20D of Rowdy Day. Nose to tail, top three, coming off turn number two down the back straightaway. Steven Ashcraft also right there in fourth. Oh, watch out, the one and the 15 getting together. We stay green. It's Thomas Blackwell. Continues to lead. Nine laps down. And only about a car length in between first and second as we work through three and four. Chase Raymond now up to fourth. He gets by Ashcraft for that fourth spot. Nose to tail, top three. Caution on the speedway, caution on the speedway. Looks like the 51 car of Danny Florence. 51X taking it to the pit area. flag. Tommy Davis Jr. side by side for that second spot with the 20D of Rowdy Day. Thomas Blackwell continues to lead in the 15. Chase Raymond now getting into the mix in the number one. Oh, they might have touched just a hair. Problems for the 25C up in smoke. Moisture all over the racetrack. So the 25C coming apart. You can see the fluid being laid down on the front straightaway. Also, a car parked right here at the bottom at the exit of turn four. The 84X of Anthony Heflin. All right, here we go, lights out. Green flag. Blackwell out in front. Chase Raymond in the number one. Up to second. Steven Ashcraft side by side with the 4R of Kevin Rowland. Oh, problems for the leader. Blackwell off the track. Thomas Blackwell in the 15 off the track. Chase Raymond, your new leader. He goes behind the wall. The 15 of Thomas Blackwell. Steven Ashcraft there in second spot. And the 4R of Kevin Rowland and Kane Buckmeyer in the 69X up to fourth. Rounding out the top five is Brandon Williams in that number five. Two laps to go, two laps to go. Here in the feature for your Buckmeyer Motorsports, USRA Limited Modifieds. White flag in the air. One more time around Devil's Bowl Speedway for the number one at Chase Raymond.
Chase Raymond working off turn number four. Checkered flag, your winner, Chase Raymond in the number one. Steven Ashcraft finishes in second in the 56. Third, the 4R of Kevin Rowland in fourth. The 69X of Kane Buckmeyer and Brandon Williams rounds out the top five. Rowdy Day in the 20D finishes in sixth with Pepper Kirkendall in the 33, seventh, and Jeff Hammett in the 13, finishing eighth. Here he is, give him a hand, your winner, Chase Raymond. Green flag out. Eddie Smith leads him off turn number four. Shane King in the K-13 right there. Rick Murray in the eight. Side by side for that second. Oh, watch out, the K-13 goes around. Let's see if he can get it fired back up. He does, we stay green. Thought he got into the back of Rick Murray. And he might have just a little bit, but Murray hanging on to second with the 71M. Caution on the speedway. Debris on the track in turn number four. Green flag. Three wide, four wide. Coming off turn number two and to the point, Tommy Davis Jr. in the number 17. Four wide for a second there, coming off turn number two. And Tommy Davis Jr. takes it to the point with Eddie Smith in second. Once again, almost four wide again with the 84 of Tom Lorenz, the 71M of Tommy McKinley, the eight of Rick Murray, and the 74 of Kevin Hazlitt. Oh, watch out, here we go. The 22T going around. He's off the track. We're good, we stay green. The 6M of Jeff Jones off. It's Tommy Davis Jr. And I think the Ada Rick Murray might have a right rear flat on that number eight. Or maybe a right front. But that eight car not working right for Rick Murray. Watch out, the 17 car also coming to a stop over here between turn one and two. Caution on the speedway, caution on the speedway. Green flag. McKinley in the 71M up to second. Kevin Hazlitt in third. Tom Lorenz in the 84, side by side for that fourth spot with the two car of Eddie Smith. McKinley opens the door, gets a little sideways over there in turn number two. Problems again for the 22T. That's become his regular path on a lap. But he gets back out there and gets in the fight. Tommy Davis Jr. in the number 17 out in front. Tommy McKinley right there in the 71M in second. 
Kevin Haslip in the 74, runs in third with the two car of Eddie Smith fourth. And now Walter Hamilton. And that one W up to fifth. Tom Lorenz in the 84 and six. Hamilton takes a peek to the outside, has to get on the binders. The 22T goes to the infield once again. This time it was by choice. As Hamilton now. And that one W up to third. McKinley on that exchange, back to fifth. Tommy Davis Jr. continues to lead with Kevin Haslip in that 74. Oh, problems down the back straight away. Oh, and over. I knew that was going to be trouble. Right rear flat, dug into the track. Red flag out for Eddie Smith in that number two. Devil's Bowl safety crew there. Driver's, driver's out, driver's good. Wow. Green flag. Walter Hamilton in that one W. Picking up the second spot, trying to do something with the leader, coming off turn number two. Oh, gets into the side of the 17. Problems for Hamilton into the back straightaway wall. Green flag out. Bradley Zimmerman working the bottom side of that racetrack. Picks up the second spot. Tom Lorenz in the 84 runs in third. He dives down to the bottom. Trying to pick up that second spot. Puts the slide job on. Makes it work. Zimmerman coming back to the inside for the second spot. Has a 17 at Tommy Davis Jr. with about a three car length advantage coming off of turn number two down the back straightaway. This time by, they'll be looking at two to go because we're down to four cars. Battling it out for the win here tonight at Devil's Bowl Speedway in the USRA factory stocks. Two to go for the 17 car of Tommy Davis Jr. Tom Lorenz runs in second with Bradley Zimmerman in third and the 13K of Shane King in fourth. White flag in the air. White flag in the air. One more time around Devil's Bowl Speedway for your point leader, Tommy Davis Jr. Tom Lorenz continues to hang on to that second spot. Then it's quite a ways back to the 127D of Bradley Zimmerman. And then the 13K of Shane King. Checkered flag, your winner, the 17 car of Tommy Davis Jr. Tom Lorenz in the 84 comes home in second. Bradley Zimmerman in the 127D third. And the 13K of Shane King in fourth. Oh, watch out! The 58 going around in front of the field. Ho! Oh. One, two, three. Here we go, green flag. Let's 
side by side, racing down the back straightaway for the lead. Junior Styles and the 12J of Jason Ingles. Watch out, the 15 of Kyle Cave and the 12 of Johnny Philpott Jr. getting into each other. Robert McCutcheon off the track. Clyde Dunn Jr. now alongside for the lead as they come off turn number two down the back straightaway. Can't make the move as of now. But he's got that inside line a little faster down here in three and four. New leader coming off turn number four, Clyde Dunn Jr. Jason Ingles going to second, Junior Styles in third, Johnny Philpott Jr. fourth. Ingles trying to fight back. Goes to the top side over here in three and four. Can't make up any ground on the 88 of Clyde Dunn Jr. Junior Styles now running a distant third. Johnny Philpott Jr. in fourth. The 7-11 of Michael Daniels in fifth. Kyle Cave six. And Brian Gunwall in the 58X running in seventh. Frank Rose in eighth and that number 45. The hood up on the number 15 of Kyle Cave. Junior Styles in the th 316 around. Caution on the speedway. Clyde Dunn Jr. at the point. Jason Ingles in that 12J running in second. Johnny Philpott Jr. in the number 12 runs in third. Here we go. Looking for the green flag coming off turn number four. It's in the air. We're go. Dunn Jr. With about a 10 car length advantage over Jason Ingles. Johnny Philpott Jr. gets a little high over here in two. Gets it back on the racetrack. Michael Daniels in fourth. Junior Styles in that 316 trying to wrestle it away. Coming off turn number four. He's got it. Puts Michael Daniels back to fifth. About a straightaway lead for the 88 of Clyde Dunn Jr. Clyde Dunn Jr. I'm sitting here watching the video screen as well. You can see that left front raising off the ground on the 88 car.
trying to get by the lap car of Frank Rose in the number 45 does. White flag in the air. One more time around Devil's Bowl Speedway for the 88 car of Clyde Dunn Jr. Checkered flag, your winner, Clyde Dunn Jr. in the 88 Triple X. The 12J of Jason Ingalls finishes in second spot. Johnny Philpot Jr. comes home in third with Junior Styles in fourth and Michael Daniels rounding out the top five in that number 711. Here he is, Devil's Bowl Speedway, your white horse tuning in Dino, USRA modified feature winner tonight here at Devil's Bowl, the 88 Triple X at Clyde Dunn Jr. Here we go, looking for that side by side start coming off turn number four. We're green. Three, four, wide racing going on, coming off turn number two. Twenty laps around the Devil's Bowl Speedway. Steve McMacken out in front with Heath Nestrick. And that 4X running in second, Joseph Casper in the 24 running in third. Three wide coming off four. Woo! All kinds of racing going on through the field. Oh, problems. I think that's Heath Nestrick. And that 4X off the track. Man, he got airborne. Brian Shoulders also slowing down in that 11 car. Tucker Dowdy in the 99 car. Getting together for a moment as Steve McMacken continues to lead. Front, Joseph Casper in second. Matthew Holt running in third. Caution on the speedway. Caution on the speedway. We have one around over here in turn number two. Green flag. Three wide. Whoa. Woo. Two, three wide slide jobs. All kinds of racing going on here in the feature for the sprint cars. Steve McMacken continues to lead. Joseph Casper right there in second. Marcus Thomas now working to the outside of Joseph Casper. Caution on the speedway. Caution on the speedway. The 33 car of Briley Stone off the track. I think that's what the caution was for. Steve McMacken, and that 41M. He'll lead him coming off turn number four. He's on the gas. 
Got to go to the outside of the orange cone. He does. Marcus Thomas making a move to the outside. Up to second. Sets his sights on the leader as they go down the front straightaway. Mac Mackin continues to lead. Joseph Casper there in third. The two car, Kobe Stubblefield, trying to make a move for that third spot as they go down the back straightaway. He's got it. Mac Mackin hanging on to the lead. Problems. Off turn number two. We stay green. Mac Mackin in that 41 car continues to lead down to the bottom side of the racetrack, trying to put the slide down. Oh, nothing to it. Mac Mackin still protecting that top spot. Marcus Thomas there in second. Kobe Stubblefield running in third. The race for the lead coming off turn number four. Thomas down to the bottom side. Problems over here in turn two. Caution on the speedway. Caution on the speedway. Twelve laps down. Eight to go. Marcus Thomas trying to put the slide job on McMacken. He's got it for now. New leader as they go down the back straightaway. Marcus Thomas. Now the two of Kobe Stubblefield. He's trying to pick up the second spot. Goes to the outside. He's got it. Three wide coming off two. As the two X of Tucker Dowdy threads the needle up to third. Marcus Thomas now out in front. Kobe Stubblefield running in second. McMacken off the track over there into turn number two, our early leader. Third, Tucker Dowdy in the 2X. Fourth, the 99X of Dalton Stevens. And rounding out the top five is John Ricketts in the 99B. So we got a pair of 99s running fourth and fifth. Sixth spot, Michael Day in the 2D. Seventh, Martin Edwards. Eighth, Austin Mundy in that number four. Problems for Mundy, Austin Mundy slowing down over here off turn number two. Or excuse me, turn three and four. Austin Mundy in that number four. Not sure if he's far enough off the track. Two laps to go, two laps to go, we stay green. McMacken also on the back straightaway. Our leader, the 10G, he'll be looking at the white flag this time. White flag in the air. As Dalton Stevens up to second. Colby Stubblefield in third. This is it, checkered flag. Here he is, Devil's Bowl Speedway, your winner, the 10G, Marcus Thomas. Second spot going to the 99X of Dalton Stevens. Third, the two of Kobe Stubblefield. Fourth, the 2X, Tucker Dowdy. John Ricketts in the 99B finishes in fifth. Michael Day, sixth in the 2D. Seventh, the 45 of Martin Edwards. And eighth, the 6M of Blake Mallory. That's the way they finish up in your IMCA Race Saver Sprint Cars tonight here at Devil's Bowl Speedway.